Mm-hmm. Fascia is a worldwide word, mm-hmm. but it's it has not the same sense everywhere in the world and not the same sense for different therapists. Mm-hmm. For a surgeon, for example, a fascia is a part of the anatomy, of a muscle. Right. That's all. Mm-hmm. For an osteopath, the fascia is more global. Mm-hmm. Very often I listen the sentence I am going to treat the fascia. Mm-hmm. But what is the meaning to treat the fascia? Where is the fascia? What is it? This is the main problem. Mm-hmm. How to define the fascia? And you can, you can find the solution only with anatomy. Mm-hmm. Maybe we have to change our way of thinking anatomy. But the solution is in the study of anatomy, precisely trying to understand. I have tried to do that. And I have my own definition of fascia, my personal definition of fascia, which is this link, this fibrillar link from the surface of the skin down to the cells, and then after, inside the cells. So you have a a continuum, a real continuity of a physical link. And it could be the fascia, and I could accept this globality uh, and accept the meaning of osteopath. Mm -hmm. It's really global. And I insist very often in this sort of concept of globality. We are a global structure. We are not made of separate organs linked by a connective tissue. No, I think this concept is wrong. I think we are globality, we are an architecture, an interior architecture made of uh, collagenous fibrils and cells are inside this uh, network with different function but they are embedded inside. And so there is a continuity between inside the cells and outside the cell. The both are linked and when you separate them it's a sort of, uh, uh, how I don't remember the, the name in English, uh, it's a, a, a biais, in French it's biais, that means it's not really the natural uh, link between them. You are making a wrong a wrong separation. And uh, this way of thinking, uh, it's a new paradigm. Uh, it's a paradigm shift because y- the connective tissue has to be considered as a constitutive tissue. We are made of this frame, collagenic frame. This is my idea, and uh, I accept that not everybody is agree what I say. But the solution is only anatomy and microanatomy. Mm-hmm. We have to study the living matter, living matter. This morning you have seen what is a living body. It's not the same as a cadaver. It's completely different. It's like you are looking to a furniture, it's wood. But it's not the same as a tree with leaves and so on. It's the same, dead or life. And this morning you have seen what is a living passion. Muscle, tendon, arteries. No blood because we had a tourniquet on. But when you have blood, life, 
Blood is life. Blood oh, is red. Yes. Right yes. So it, it's and if we want to improve our knowledge, we have to study most often we can. We have to study with living matter. Mm -hmm. 